learning how to anchor correctly is very important. Whether you're solo queuing or you're five stacking, you want to learn how to anchor correctly for your team. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys what I've learned over the years of staying in sight and how you guys can improve your gameplay. If you are new to my channel, my name is Athena and I post Rainbow Six Siege tips, guides, and almost everything I can help you guys get better as well as my own stream highlights as well. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure you guys are following my social media to stay updated on other content sources. And I stream almost every single day on Twitch, mostly at nighttime and sometimes in the evening after school. So make sure you're following me over there as well. So the first thing you need to know as an anchor is first, you gotta sort your mindset out. This is important as an anchor, but overall in your siege gameplay, even in life as well. You wanna lower your expectations of the rounds in the game. We all know siege is a very unexpected game and things can be really unpredictable. So you might not always uh, be happy of the outcomes of the rounds. Sometimes your team can die off early, maybe you die off early and you weren't able to put your utility down and you start dropping no kills. Now what you guys need to do is just expect, don't expect so much of yourself and out of your team. We're all learning and we're all just trying to play and have fun and get better, but you gotta start off with lowering your expectations. Now that you're able to react to a lot of the things that happen in the round, you gotta be able to adapt. Um, like I said, siege is very unpredictable, but there is common strategies, spots that you can happen. So learning how to adapt to the round if you are uh, in a man disadvantage, a man advantage, or maybe it's, oh, you lost a piece of utility, you don't have information on that kind of stuff. It's just um, learning how to play the best out of every situation. That's why I always talk about being optimistic, is that way you can always think of the best way to take the positives out of the situation. So now that we got your mindset sorted out, let's get into actually holding the site. Now, if you don't know who to anchor in Siege, if you're brand new to this game, or if you've been playing for a while, but you just don't know who to play and who to main, I'll tell you right now, if you're gonna be an anchor you don't always have to be some heavy operator um that can just like sit in one spot the whole round but that's kind of ideal of the the place that you should play you should be uh, passive in the very uh few minutes of the round and then be aggressive at the end but some good operators are maestro echo um smoke is good because he yeah, has smokes so i can plant denial um, overall just an anchor is um utilizing utility to make sure that the attackers don't get too close to the site um, you're kind of being like the, hey, get out of here. You kind of, you got a stick in sight and you're kind of poking at the attackers like, hey, move away, you know? In the beginning of the round, you want to make sure if you are, are the right operator to make rotates uh, and then get on cams pretty early on for your roamers. That way they don't have to, they don't have to sit in one spot and um, stop moving, just check cams. So you have the opportunity to check cams and um, get that information earlier in the round and say like, okay, where is the attack enemy uh, setting up? Where do my roamers need to go? All that kind of stuff you're kind of you're kind of organizing the round and you evaluating that's why i say you want to adapt to the round um in case they're rushing um up a certain stairs they're breaching this open you just got to be ready for whatever comes around and a thing you need to work on is being aware sometimes people might rush some people might amaru into sight you want to be careful because you could actually be the one that dies early first and as the round goes on, you check cams, you've done everything, you're alive, right? That's the main idea is you want to stay alive as an anchor because if you die, then obviously you get sent to cams, but that you, you, you've lost a player, which is not good. Um, so then thing you need to be working on as well is your callouts and your positioning. As an anchor, you want to stay alive, correct, right? But how can you uh, stay alive while also kind of putting a little bit of pressure on the enemy? You don't want to just sit in the back of the site and wait for a whole team to die and like oh i was anchoring no that's not it anchoring like i said you're kind of poking the stick at the attackers to make sure that they don't get too close to the site they don't get comfortable with their setup too and as as you play the game this is going to take a lot of time but learning how to position yourself the best that you can for situations whether that's um you know you gotta work with your teammate whether you got to hold an angle for stuff like that you just gotta know when is the right time and when is the right place to do it and trust me you have to grind the game and you just got to play the game a lot more to learn all those angles that you could die from and how the, the best position you can uh, get some kills your way as well and while you're doing all of these tips you're checking cams you're staying alive and you're positioning well this will not always work out so now that you know how to play as an anchor you know how to call out position yourself well 
let's get down to the mindset where it comes back again learning from your deaths and your mistakes is very important um, this could lead to rounds lost games lost hard um you know hard times where people might get angry at you they don't want to play with you anymore blah 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 it's going to get to come stuff like that but it's just how siege is and it's just how online works people come and go but don't get too sad on those times where you made big mistakes as an anchor whether you weren't holding an angle you uh made the wrong call out that's normal you know it's all everyone's here learning you're gonna get rushed early on on a match point for four overtime it's gonna be rough like that and you're gonna die to a lot of angles that you didn't know you're gonna be in bad positioning you're like you might be outside the bridge and they shoot you uh, for free you know but that's just how we get how it is you can get so mad over a death and you can plan all you want you can even make up stories about it but what's what's that gonna do for you is that gonna help you become a better player you could be, become a better anchor overall just a better uh, siege player you know so that's why i always want to uh have you guys lower your expectations don't set them too high for yourself or else if you don't meet those expectations you're going to be disappointed in your team or even yourself or you don't want to take it too hard on yourself and after every death usually what i'm asking when i was uh in the early process of learning and i still do this to this day um you got to ask how can i do this better how could i have avoided that death how could i stay alive more how could i have helped my teammate more it's all about being better at the end of the day and as long as you're taking away the positives of all your deaths all your games lost even if the game is won you know it's all about just getting experience and having fun if you're not having fun with the game you're gonna learn really slowly so i hope this video helped you out with anchoring and uh think a little bit better and if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like it helps the video grow and make sure you are subscribed with the notification button to know when i post next i'll see you guys in the next twitch stream or the next youtube video or maybe even the TikToks, you know, y'all are going ham. We're almost at 60,000 on TikTok. Y'all are crazy. Without further ado, you guys have to enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.